Hi, welcome back. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I will share six steps to make eyes amazing in Affinity Photo. Before explaining how to apply these steps, first let's walk through these six steps and see what they do. So the first step is to brighten the eyes. Mostly this is enough to have the eyes really pop up in a portrait. Depending on how much time you want to invest in the photo, you can also apply the next five steps to make the eyes really look gorgeous. The second step is to give the eye some rim or kicker light, which gives it that extra shine in the eye. In the third step, we sharpen the iris, which really gives an additional depth to the eye. The next step, the reflection, is definitely an optional step, but depending on the composition, it can make that extra difference to make the cornea of the eye look amazing. The last two steps, we focus on the eye white and the area around the actual eye. So it's all about whitening the eye white to give it more contrast with the iris. And the final step is again giving more contrast by darkening the iris border and the eyelashes. So now we know our six steps. Let me show you how you can create them in a new document. First, we start with brightening the iris. I like to use curves, but you can do it in many other ways, like painting with white on a pixel layer and setting its blend mode to overlay. Let me add the curves adjustment and brighten the image. Invert the layer and paint with white on the iris, especially on the opposite side of the light direction. Keep the area around the shine in the eye darker. Finally, before moving to the next step, modify the blend ranges to have it apply more on the bright areas of the iris. That was easy. And all the steps will be easy like this. So let's continue with the rim light in the eye to give that extra shine. The idea is the same. A curves adjustment, brighten it up, invert it, and tap with a large brush on the opposite of the main light reflection. Wonderful! To sharpen the eye now, we are going to enhance the iris in the next step. Basically, we are going to paint with luminance in the iris to give it that extra detail and depth. First, let's add, as you might have guessed, a curves layer and crank up the brightness all the way up. Invert this and with a very small and low flow brush, we are going to draw brightened lines in the iris. Once we're done with the bright lines, we are going to repeat the same, but now with darker lines to give that extra depth. The process is the same. Just add a curves adjustment layer, but instead of brightening, we're going to darken it, invert it, and finally paint the lines. This process gives that extra detail and depth in the iris, as you can see in the close up of an iris. The next step is to add reflections or enhance existing reflections. This gives the cornea, which is the dome over the iris, a bit more depth and 3D effect. We can add a reflection very easy by drawing a circle and filling it with a gradient white, moving from zero transparency to full transparency. To blend it in, you can use the overlay, soft light or the average blend mode, depending on what works best for the image. I will duplicate the reflection and move it to the right eye. In this image, the eyes already have reflections and you might have noticed that I'm positioning the reflections over them, so they get a bit stronger. Now to bring more contrast in the eye and make the eye more prominent, we can whiten the eye whites by adding, again, a curves adjustment layer. I think you know the drill by now. Brighten it up, invert it and paint on the eye white. 
as we only want to brighten the whites, we can apply a blend range, which will only affect the highlights. This brings us to our final step, darkening the iris border and the area around the eye. As we just brightened the eye whites, having a dark border in the eyes makes the eye really pop. Again, nothing complex here, just add a curves layer, pull down the brightness, invert it and paint on the areas we need to darken, which is the border of the iris and the eyelashes. By adjusting the blend range to apply only to the darker areas, we can have it blend in a very natural way. So there you have it. Six easy steps to make the eyes amazing. You can always play with the opacity of these adjustments to fine tune the effects to your needs. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching again. Until next time.